Good morning, Dopey. What's going on? What do you guys think of the new intro? Too long? You like the old one better? What do you think? Howie, what do you think? Uh, I like the new intro a hundred times better than Why? the old intro. Why? A hundred times is a lot. Why? Yeah. Why? At least maybe a hundred one times. Why? Better. Because I think that it's much more interesting to look at. Mm. The animation is much better. Mm. Um, I think the music works better with this one. Mm. Just more professional. It's more It's more the show to me than the old one was. Mm. What difference does it make what I think? Mm. Mm. Um, I'm, 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 I'm in thinking about the Ben and Jerry's stuff. Have you, uh, mm. have you connected the Ben and Jerry's graphics yet? No, I haven't. Are I you have excited to, to? I will, yeah. When I am excited. I have to do that this weekend. Yeah, stay tuned, Dopey Nation. Big Big things are happening. Big things are guan, as they say in Jamaica. Um, my eyes are so fucking slitty. I should wear those glasses like that YouTube guy. Who's that YouTube Case, guy? Casey Neistat? Yeah, I should be like Why don't Casey. you make your own pair of glasses? <laughs> that would be a mess. Maybe I will. Just get some Ray-Bans and spray paint them and then... Maybe I will. Oh. I don't like the look of his glasses. I like my black Ray-Bans. So there you go. Just wear Ray-Bans then you could look directly at the screen, I guess, and... We wouldn't be able to tell the difference. I'd do that anyway. Anyway, today is uh, January 30th. Are you excited? (laughs) I'm very very excited that it's the 30th. Now, I want you to know that people don't like it when I do the daily reflections with my phone. People don't like it. They don't like it when I'm... When When you do do it by yourself, you mean? Yeah. Why not? They think it's unprofessional. (laughs) I like the unprofessional. Oh, there's a bar? I like the unprofessionalness of doing it alone. Yeah. Um, uh, on the day you came back, Brandon Lamb says, the return, the great return of Howie. Welcome back. This was a good one. I like when there are guests on the show. You guys broke it down well and said it all. It doesn't work if you're not working it. You can't phone this stuff in. Half measures avail does nothing. I'm glad... Brandon got all that from from our little show. One person. What do you mean show? What is he talking about? This daily is the show. Yes, the Daily Reflection show. He's saying. Mm. I, I'm just trying to think of when I came back that I I would have been in it. But it was guess, on. Uh, this was a comment from from January 25th. Oh no, ago. you weren't in this one. Yeah, I don't know what. The, he knew fucking, that you were back yeah. because this was with Don. This oh, was the, 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 dopey, the show looked better. Sh- it looked better. It felt like more like a show. Right. Don had a lot to say. Yeah. What, you don't say that kind of stuff about it works if you work it and you can't phone this in? <laughs> that sounds it. like something I would say. Uh, and then Amy Hopler Mitchell says. Love Amy. Ah, back to the professional version. <laughs> so good to see DJ too. I laugh every time I think of his great Xanax caper. Good dopey shit right there. Love you guys. Thanks, Dave, Don, and Howie. Jeremy Duchel, if I say that right, who's the most... He's the greatest Patreon fan in the history of Patreon, is Jeremy Duchel. He also went to eat at Katz's. He goes to every Patreon Zoom. I love this guy. I really do. Nice. Um, He says, welcome back, Howie. Yo, I can't believe he hit you with a, you're ruining the episode, Dave. Oh, how the tables have turned. (laughs) LOL. Thank you, Jeremy. Thank you for, for shaming me on my show. I appreciate that. And Richard Prado says, Daily Reflections, the original Woke Squad. And then Matthew Wiedemeyer Carroll, who's an OG Dopey fan from Idaho. He's, he's bought more Dopey gear than anybody in the world. God bless him. Um, he wrote me over the weekend. I was with Susan at the Long Island. See, this would be good for the show. I don't know why I'm wasting on the Daily Reflections. I don't know why you'd be doing I'm going to do this on the show, too. So okay. I, Anybody, twice. Yes. Me and Susan are at the Museum of Science mm-hmm. in, uh, you know where that place is, by the Aviation Museum, oh, by, yeah. uh, by the Coliseum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By the Nassau Coliseum. Nassau. And, and Matthew Wiedemeyer Carroll texts me, and he's like, what the fuck, man? You ruined the Daily Reflections. Looks like shit. Fucking nobody wants to see you holding the phone. Where's oh, this Howie? one you're doing it by yourself. Yeah. And I was like, what? He's like, what? I, he goes, I guess Howie left, too. That's what he said. <laughs> He has upset when Sam left. Way to you for you to ruin the his so, day. So he wrote, "Yes, back to normal." 
And then Travis Short of Indiana wrote, he wrote, goof morning, Dave, but I think he meant good morning, Dave. Uh, woke up, Knicks still suck. Reggie Miller needs a statue outside MSG. Go Pacers. And before we get to the Daily Reflection, I just want to comment on this comment, Travis. Yes, the Knicks suck. Julius Randle is like, I just hate him. I've always hated him. Even when he was good, I hated him. Even last year, I hated him. I hate Julius Randle. It is a tough time, again, to be a Knicks fan. But to be a Pacers fan, even if they're winning, is worse. So, fuck you, Travis Short. Uh, and, I, you know, I say that with love. Mm-hmm. Peace and love. Knicks um, are a basketball team? Yes. Today is January 30th. Freedom from freedom too. We are going to know a new freedom. Freedom. Is that a Crowded House song? No. There that's, is freedom within. Is it freedom? There is freedom within. Is that what he says? <laughs> hey, let me hear a little more. Hey now, hey no, now. No, 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 no. The verse. I don't know the verse. I just know what I. Is it hum. freedom? There is freedom within. There is freedom without. I'm a some of some of some of There's no proof. Yeah, that's a good song. Hey anyway, now. dude. We're doing, is this about <laughs> the <laughs> fucking the garbage show. men are coming now? They're they're like six hours late. Anyway, go tell them we are going to know a new freedom. Freedom for me is both freedom from and freedom to. The freedom I enjoy is freedom from the slavery of alcohol. What a relief! Then I begin to experience freedom from fear, fear of people, of econ- economic insecurity, of commitment, of failure of rejection. Then I begin to enjoy freedom to fr- freedom to freedom to choose sobriety for today, freedom to be myself, freedom to express my opinion, to experience peace of mind, to love and be loved and freedom to grow spiritually. But how can I achieve these freedoms? The big book clearly says that I, that before I am halfway through making amends, I will begin to know a new freedom not the old freedom of doing what I pleased without regard to others, but the new freedom that allows fulfillment of these promises in my life. What a joy to be free. What do you, what do you, do you have any takeaway from this, Howie? I do. I actually love this. I'm going to tell you why I love this. Okay. That's great. This is something I connect with. All right. Well, there are a couple things and the, and they, I think they contradict a little bit. Yes. Which is the freedom thing is very interesting because I guess if you're an addict, you correct me if I'm wrong, there's a there's a part of you that maybe feels somewhat trapped in life and that doing whatever it is that you do gives you some kind of mental and emotional freedom. And now you have to replace that with something something else. Hold on, you're not making any sense to me. So you're saying when you're an addict when you're an addict when you're using when, when you're, you're an using, active yes, addiction. An active addict, yes. right? Active addiction. You're using to, yes. to potentially numb Get, something or hide something. Or, 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 or the, the freedom element is to be able to do whatever you want and like to use freely and to be free of those things, uh, of insecurity or yeah. fear or anger. So right. you're freeing yourself from these things. Okay, continue. Right. And then the daily reflection is saying yes. now you're replacing this unhealthy addiction with something that's maybe more healthy that will give you the same freedom that you don't need whatever it is that you're addicted to to get that freedom you can do that yourself you can get that yourself in other ways right right well what's interesting the the contradiction for me is isn't the whole thing of recovery or the 12 steps at least about surrendering to a higher power and doesn't that imply that you don't have absolute freedom you're not surrendering to a higher power Mm. you're surrendering to the fact that that you don't have um, all the answers that you're that you don't have power. You're, you're surrendering to the fact that you lose the ability to make a choice once you're using. You're surrendering to to that you can't beat this thing by yourself. It's not exactly surrendering to a higher power. It's giving up on the idea that you can do something on your own. So okay. so I see it as the freedom is once you. Um, because obviously there's freedom from the addiction. Yeah. Like if I took heroin to be free from fear or free from misery, depression, 
uncomfortability, right? Mm -hmm. But then I'm addicted, then I'm free for a minute, but then I'm addicted to heroin and I'm more miserable, more uncomfortable, more depressed, more of all those things. So then the first thing I need to free myself from is the actual bonds of the addiction. And then I need to free myself from, from those things you know, the depression, the misery, mm-hmm. the uncomfortability, so Got I it. could actually be free. So first you get off the drugs and you're like, I'm free from addiction, but I'm still miserable. So then when you do the work, when you do this work, you can be free of those other things okay. through a higher power. And and the higher power is just saying, I, I think the higher power more than anything is humility. It's saying, I can't do it alone. Please help me. Right. You know, and it's not, it, I mean, for me, it's not, you know, some doesn't big, have to be God or something like that. It's just, it's not, it, it's, I use the word God because it, it jibes with the situation. But for me, it's, it's, I can't do it myself. So universe, please help me. Yeah. And it's not imagining like, like the ocean is going to come alive and give me a clam because right. I'm hungry. Right. It's like, it's that I can't do it. So it's, so it's freeing myself from trying to control it and just letting things happen. Mm-hmm. It's it's like you know it's in and out. Does that make sense? It sort of does. I mean, I completely get the freedom concept, but to me, somehow in my mind, I'm still stuck on the contradiction between being completely free but also surrendering yourself to a higher power, which well, would mean that you're not completely free. You're not but surrendering I I yourself it. to that. See, I think that's a problem that lots of people have, though, because you're surrendering yourself to the higher power of your understanding that allows you maximum freedom. So it's not like you're surrendering to the Christian God, to yeah. Jesus Christ, to right. Santa Claus, to Allah, to you know whatever Jews, Adonai, or whatever Jews are calling God these days. These you know? days, right. It's um, changed over time. It has. <laughs> but my point is that you're freeing yourself from thinking that you can control it. Mm-hmm. And God is is giving you the chance is, allow, is, is allowing that, or how, how facilitating. That I know a way. bunch of people who have freedom from all these things that are total um, atheists. Yeah, but whatever it is that they've surrendered themselves, it doesn't matter if it's God or whatever they're. But it's like the concept using. of surrender is an interesting concept in itself. Yeah, because you're a little bit putting a negative connotation on it. Or at least a limiting connotation. I when, am or people? You are a little yeah. bit the way you're talking about surrendering yourself. Mm. Like there's a guy at my meeting who, who says, um, you're surrendering to like, but you've won. You know, raise your <laughs> hands and surrender because you finally won. You know what I mean? Mm. It's like it's like give up because you can't possibly, once you give up, you can't possibly lose anymore. Because all okay. we are doing is when you're using, and I don't mean to be really corny, but when you're using, you're ultimately losing. Yeah. So you give up to that fight. That's the surrender. Mm-hmm. You give up to that because you can't win. Very few people can use and drink. For their entire Yeah, and, and not have any negative consequences. Right. So you surrender to that, and then you're open to this. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes more, more sense to me. All right, good. I like that. I'm glad we got somewhere. Nice. I'm glad I elongated the show and made it take twice as long. Freedom's just another word for nothing left to lose. I always say that. I, I that's that's a phrase that always uh, eludes me a little bit. Freedom is just yeah, that's a good one. Good. No, what does it mean? Put that on a sticker. I don't know what it means. What does that it's one over, mean? Went right over my head. That's do you know what the song is? The crowded house song. No, this freedom's just another word for nothing left to lose. No, that's a song. Are you joking? I don't know that song. All right. Stay strong, Dopey Nation. (laughs) Fucking toodles for Chris.